Environmentalists are claiming victory tonight for the Ohio River and everybody who depends on it. The commission that sets the water quality standards was set to hand off that duty to each state. That didn't happen. Local 12's Christian Hauser now with what's next for the river. Or Sanko, the Ohio River Valley Water Sanitation Commission decided not to vote today on a proposal that would stop setting the water quality for the Ohio River. The decision not to vote came after the organization received roughly 8,000 public comments, mostly against the proposal. Conservationists are celebrating tonight after the decision not to vote. Because the Orsenko decision today preserves the pollution control standards and it means that the commission has decided wisely to take more time to consider how best to protect the river going forward. The proposal would eliminate Orsenko's water pollution standards for flows into the river from companies or sanitation districts and put it back into the hands of the states and the Clean Water Act. The committee reviewing the proposal says it needs more time to review the comments. So they'll consider those, but they'll also look at uh, other um, components uh, that, that have been uh, brought up through the process. Orsenko was created before the Clean Water Act and was to monitor the river and set limits on industrial pollution. There are several hundred water quality standards that have been set by Orsenko over the past decades. States also have water quality standards, but there were gaps. Um, some chemicals for which the, the states didn't have standards, but Orsenko did. The river is a drinking water source for five million people. As of now, there are no additional public comment hearings in the works for the proposal. In Covington, Christian Hauser, Local 12 News. The next commission meeting will be in Covington in February. There could be a vote then.